Good evening. Firefighters have saved the town of Northcliffe for now, but an enormous blaze burning in our southwest is still out of control. The fire front is 250 kilometres long. 80,000 hectares is on fire, much of it old growth forest. Firefighters have now set up three control points in Pemberton, Northcliffe, and Walpole. Three extra firefighting aircraft have arrived from the east coast, including a C-130 Hercules. And the Army is building a tent city in Manjimup to house Victorian firefighters on the ground. Ben Hennessy reports from the fire zone. We're now seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It's the news hundreds of Northcliffe locals have been waiting for. The situation early this morning and as we move into today is probably one of the most promising that we've had for the, for the last six days or so. Yesterday they thought the town would be overrun as the fire marched towards Northcliffe, but last night firefighters managed to stop the blaze in its tracks. It's probably the first day for five or six that the incident management team has had a half smile when we've come on, uh, come on duty for the day following the night shift, but still a long way to go. But as the blaze was controlled, another fled in Boddington, again stretching fire crews. One home destroyed and 30,000 hectares burning out of control. The fire in Northcliffe has now burnt out more than 80,000 hectares and last night jumped southwestern highway. With a perimeter of more than 250 kilometres, it's the biggest inferno the southwest has ever seen. The task of containing it so difficult, command posts have been set up in Northcliffe, Pemberton and now Warpole. On the fire ground today, rain gave crews respite and time to strengthen containment lines that stand between the town of Northcliffe and the fire. But as the blaze slows, the response keeps building. Tony Abbott pledging his full support. The Prime Minister was very, very um, clear in the fact that the federal government doesn't leave small communities behind. And uh, I mean, I was pretty chuffed. A little old shy president from here got a call from the Prime Minister. Three extra firefighting aircraft were brought in from the east coast this morning, including a C-130 Hercules, capable of dropping 15,000 litres in one go. The Army has also joined the fight. Troops will set up a tent city in Manjimup that will house Victorian fire. Fighters. I guess the Watch and Act will go down, but the fire will go on for weeks. Northcliffe residents have been told they may be able to return home tomorrow, but with the fire expected to burn for the rest of summer, it comes with a serious warning. People need to be aware that as we go through various weather cycles, there is the opportunity for this fire to reignite and once again threaten surrounding communities.